everybody, it's Melanie and welcome to Weekly Favorites. So today I'm going to share with you the products that I've just kind of been obsessing over uh, during the past week or so. And the first thing I'm going to mention is actually something that I showed in the haul earlier this week. I will link any videos that I did down below. I think I only had time for one video this week. So this is the Better Homes and Gardens um, uh, Perfect Corner Bakery Scented Wax Cubes. So. Those of you who love Cinnamon Sugar Donut from Bath and Body Works and who doesn't, this is a dupe for it. I'm talking like a pretty dead on dupe and um, I actually still have the first wax cube that I used going downstairs. So I've been able to get like a couple days out of it at this point. It smells so dead on for Cinnamon Sugar Donut. like. I really can't like stress enough how good this smells. It literally smells like a bakery. Um, now these are limited edition for 2014 and so if you do like that scent and you want to try these wax cubes and you really do like them, I would suggest stocking up. What I like about these, um, by the way you can find these at Walmart, what I like about these Better Homes and Gardens um, wax cubes is that they're two bucks. So what I would actually suggest, because these are, it's so incredibly strong, like it will like, you'll choke on it, like it is strong. I would actually suggest cutting these wax cubes in half and using a half a cube, um, because that will be enough to scent almost your entire house. Like I'm talking, it is like strong. Um, not in a bad way, unless you hate this fragrance, but you can definitely make this last more than six cubes. That was like the dumbest sentence ever. Cut the cubes in half and that'll be plenty and you'll get twice the amount out of one of these packs. So anyway, you can find it at Walmart. It's two bucks and it is like dead on dupe for cinnamon sugar donut. If you love that candle, pick these up. Okay, let's talk nails. So I obviously don't have anything on my fingernails. There is no need for me to do my nails during the summer. I don't really do them the rest of the year, but especially during the summer because I do wedding flowers. It destroys my nails. Like, I just cut them super short and there's no need to paint them. Polish would fall right off. Um, but I do have this on my toes. This is the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure in Peach of Cake number 380. So, you can see that there. This is such a pretty color for your toes, especially if you have a tan. I don't have a tan, but I really do love the way that this looks on my toes this time of year. Um, I tend to wear a lot of flip-flops. Um, so I do like to paint my toenails, and this is have, I've worn this for like a couple weeks in a row now, so I really do like this a lot. Um, and it's like, I think, $7.99 at the drugstore, so it's pretty readily available. Again, Peach of Cake from the Salon Complete Manicure line. Okay, um, fragrance that I've been wearing this week has mostly been DKNY Red Delicious. Um, I've talked about this before. I won't go too much in depth, but it's definitely like a, you can smell that red apple in there, and it's just very fruity, very like summery. This is not something that I would wear really during any other time of the year other than summer. So um, I don't really like the spritzer on this because it's more of like a splat, um, and it's pretty strong. So if I get too much of a splat, I'm kind of stuck smelling crazy strong for like the rest of the day, but most people tend to like the scent of this because it is very fruity. So um, I don't think this is being made anymore. I think you can probably still find it online, but I don't see it in like Sephora or the other like department stores anymore. So it does smell good though. You'll just have to take my word for it. The eyeshadow palette that I've used quite a bit this week is actually the Laura Mercier Pro Artist Palette for Eyes. This was the one that they released last in November at Sephora. And um, so this is what it looks like. I have just been loving this palette. Most of the videos that you, well, the video that you saw from me on Monday and a couple that you're going to see next week um, were filmed when I was wearing this palette. Um, a couple of my favorite combinations have been the fresco in the crease and then the primrose on my lid. I've done that a couple times and I've also done uh, bamboo on the lid with 
truffle in the crease a couple times as well. So I just really like this palette. I'm so glad that I ended up getting it. Um, if Laura Mercier comes out with another one this holiday season, it's definitely one that I will pick up again because the quality of these shadows is insane. I know some people had quality issues with theirs. I've never had it with mine on any of the colors and I've used all the colors. I'm just incredibly happy with it. So um, I know you can't get this one anymore, but if you have it and you haven't used it in a while, I would suggest getting it out and um, look out for the ones that could potentially come out this holiday season because I think I think the quality is definitely worth the price. And this was like 50, 54, I don't remember the exact price, but it was somewhere in the 50s. So it's more expensive than some of the other palettes, um, but quality wise, I don't know. I tend to think that eyeshadow is something that is worth paying for. So that's just me. Um, I've been wearing this quite a bit for the last few days. It's the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector. This was just a sample I picked up at Sephora. I really like this a lot. This is great for oil control. Um, you wouldn't wear this if you had dry skin or anything like that. It really just is like to mattify your face. Um, love the way this fills in my pores just a little bit, but more so I love the fact that it absorbs the oil on my face. Like I have not blotted once and I put my makeup on at like seven this morning and it's now two. So that's pretty good. Like, and I don't see any need to blot. Like it doesn't make me overly matte, but it definitely like mattifies my face to a point where I don't feel like I have to like sop up the oil. So the Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector for us oily girls. This is one check worth checking out. I know it's expensive, but it works. Here's the thing to know about this. You don't rub it into your skin. If you start to rub it into your skin, it's going to ball up and you're going to hate it. You're going to be like, this product sucks. It doesn't work. You pat it into your skin. Um, so you just get a little bit between your fingers, like evenly distribute it and then like just pat. Don't rub. I'm telling you, if you do that, it works. Um, this week I did uh, purchase and try the L'Oreal Voluminous Miss Manga. And this is my only product that I'm a little bit like, eh, on right now. Uh, the only reason being is that it's got a pretty wet formula to start with. I think I'm going to like this better in like a week or so once the formula dries out a little bit. Um, the springy brush is a little weird. I don't think I'm going to do like an in-depth like demo or review on this because everybody else and their mother has already done reviews on this. But just from my take, I prefer more volume than length. And this really wants to give me a little bit more length right now versus volume. Um, and it is a little bit hard to get used to that springing action because of that little um, like cut out that you see right here um it really does make it very bendy and like sometimes when you're applying it and you like let it spring back it can hit you like on like your upper eye area here which is fine you just wait for it to dry and you clean it up but um so yeah it's it's not like an a plus product it's probably somewhere in the like b to b plus range who knows maybe in another week or two It'll be in the A range. <laughs> but as of right now, it's good. It's not a bad product. But um, I know some people really have loved this. And um, I can see why, especially if you are somebody that wants length. But for me, wanting more of that volume, I need this formula to dry out a little bit first. Um, this. I need to do an in-depth review on this because I think I have just found the holy grail of like skincare and I'm not even kidding you it's from Walmart and it's $8.99 this is the studio 35 beauty alpha hydroxy face cream this is 8% uh, AHA of 70% solution this is a four ounce enormous container I've been using this for the last week you really don't need a lot I will warn you it smells like Elmer's glue oh my god like so this is a chemical exfoliant. It's not a physical exfoliant. It's a chemical exfoliant. But what this did for my skin in a matter of like four days has been phenomenal. Like I'm going to use this for another week or two before I do my like in-depth review. But I'm telling you now, like 
my skin looks amazing after just a few days of using this. Um, so I only apply this at night. There is a little bit of a slight stinging sensation, not every night, just randomly. Um, doesn't hurt though. It's just like a little like tingling sensation and that's because it's an AHA product. Um, just put it on after you cleanse your face. Um, I normally put my argon oil or my fresh sea berry oil on first, let that soak in and then I go over with this people like I really think this is like one of like the best skincare products that I've ever used and I got it at Walgreens like it's amazing really truly like I I want I want to talk more about it but I think I'm just going to hold off until the review so definitely like as soon as the I do the review I will link it in this video um but look for that in like the next week or so I just I cannot believe that something this inexpensive has been this good for my skin this quickly. Like I've never noticed results so quickly before. My skin is a, like the tone has improved. My pores seem to be decreasing in size. Um, like it's, oh my gosh, I've got to stop talking about it. It's just, it's amazing. So, um, if you want to go get it now and start using it before I do my review, there's other people that have reviewed this as well, but um, man, it's good. It is really good for $8.99. <laughs> okay, this is the, um, the Nysant um, Revive Intense Elixir. This was sent to me. I'm also going to be doing an in-depth review on this. I've been using this for, let's see, I think I got it four days ago. I love this. <laughs> so yes, this was sent to me. Um, by the way, Nysant is a company that has sent me uh, a product, well, two products to review in the past as well. So they sent me an email a couple weeks ago telling me that they came out with this new argon oil elixir that they wanted me to try. And I was like, sure, why not? Um, in the past, by the way, they sent me the um, Azul Plata toning shampoo that they make. Um, I will link that video down below for you. I love that. It is like the best toning shampoo that I've ever used in that it works so much quicker than any of the other toning shampoos that I've ever used. This. Okay, you guys know that I love the Josie Moran Argon Oil Hair Serum. This is just as good as that. And like, I love the Josie Moran Argon Oil Hair Serum. The first time that I used this, I used two pumps and um, that was the perfect amount for my hair. Um, I worked it mostly through the ends first and then the rest of it, I just worked through the rest of my hair. Um, in fact, this is all that I have in my hair today. Like, you can see my hair is not weighed down. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't look dirty. Um, this is amazing stuff. Um, I will say they, um, <laughs> it's funny. They don't do the best job. This company is based out of Colombia, so they're not like a U.S. company. And so half of like the, well, most of the instructions in here and like the descriptions are in Spanish. And then it kind of seems like they just put it into like Google Translator and it like just translated like word for word. And so some of the translations aren't like, they don't really make sense. I'm fine with that. Like I get the general gist of what they're trying to do here. Um, this is basically just a protector. It is geared towards people with blonde, dry, damaged hair. Um, but you don't just have to be a blonde to be able to use this. If you have damaged hair in general, like you should be using this product because it soaks into your hair. It makes it feel so much softer. I don't know that I, I guess I, it, not that I don't know. Like, I know that you can't, like, necessarily repair all of the damage that you do with, like, the various things that you do to your hair. Like, blow drying, heat styling, um, you know, flat ironing, all of that stuff. Like, coloring, teasing, you know, all of that damages your hair. Um, you can make your hair feel nicer, but in order to really get rid of the damage, like, your hair needs to grow out and you just need to cut off, like, the damaged parts eventually. But um, this makes my hair so crazy soft, so moisturized, so like, just like touchable and manageable. Like, 
and it's four ounces worth of product. Um, they didn't send me information on pricing, but I'm gonna, I believe that they sell this through Amazon. I wish they would have given me just a tiny bit more information, but I'm in contact with the company again to like try to get some more information on it. So when I do the review, um, I'll have some more in-depth info for you guys. In the meantime, just know that I've been using this for a few days and I really, really like it a lot. Um, this does have a couple of different like um, silicones in it, uh, but I believe so does the Josie Moran Argon Oil Hair Serum. I don't mind silicones in my hair. Like they, I've never had an adverse like type of reaction. Like I know a lot of people freak out about like the Pantene and stuff like that. Most of the products that I've used for the vast majority of my life have contained silicones and I don't have hair issues from that. Like my hair isn't falling out. It's not, doesn't feel unhealthy. It, it does, doesn't feel like it's damaged it. Like I, I don't mind it. Like I've not had an adverse reaction, but those of you who do think that you have an adverse reaction to anything silicone based, this does have trimethicone and dimethicone cross polymer in it. So, um, but it also has a very high concentration of the argon oil and um, a couple of other different kinds of oils. On top of it, it smells amazing. It smells really, really good. Um, ooh, yeah, it's like a fruity smell. It smells good. It smells like summer. Um, the container's nice too. This is plastic. It's not glass or anything, but this is good stuff, you guys. Again, I will try to put a link down below, and then when I do my in-depth review, which I will, again, link at the bottom of this video when it's available, um, it's good stuff. So just thought I'd kind of let you guys know that this is going to be coming up with like an in-depth review as well. So those are my favorites for the week. Um, I am off to go back to work. So I hope that all of you are having a really fantastic uh, summer. The next few days are pretty rough for me, so I'm probably not going to, going to be responding to comments anytime soon. But if you do have a question, I'll try to respond to questions if I can. Um, and just kind of be patient with me for the next little bit because it is like a rough like couple of weeks actually coming up. So um, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.